In today's video, we are shopping my closet sale. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park, this is Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content. If you love outfit ideas, unboxings, lifestyle content, I have something for you. Check out some of my other videos and when you find something you like, be sure to subscribe and make sure you guys hit that notification bell because I upload multiple times a week and I don't want you guys to miss anything. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can shop my closet by checking out the closet sale. You guys have asked me many times, when am I gonna be updating the closet sale? When's the closet sale coming back? What's going on with the closet sale? And I'm happy to say that there are new pieces added to the closet sale and there's still gonna be a lot more. I think I mentioned it in a previous video that we're not even halfway done and we're still not even almost halfway done. There's just so many things to add to the closet sale. And you guys know that I'm going through a complete like closet overhaul, like purging so many things. And some things just aren't serving me anymore. Some things are new with tags, some things I've never worn before. And it's just time to make room for things. And I don't wanna be a hoarder. Like I don't wanna hold on to things that I'm just not using. As much as I love some of these pieces, if I haven't worn them, there's no reason for me to keep them. You know what I mean? And honestly, in the line of work that I'm in, I'm going to be constantly evolving and changing and turning things over. So I just want to have those really, really great special pieces that I can always build outfits from, you know, a really great capsule that I can always just build on. So a lot of these things you guys will love. And before we get into the video, it's time for today's Instagram shout out. And today I am shouting out Alicia the Realtor. She commented under one of my last reels on Instagram and she wrote, I wish I had your style slash wardrobe. I live in Atlanta too. Let me borrow some clothes. <laughs> that comment made me laugh. That is so funny. So if you do want to shop my closet and check out some of the pieces, this video is for you. And you can also just check the link in the description box. I will have a link straight to the closet sale and you can shop the pieces that way. Let's get into this first look. And all of these pieces I'm showing you in this outfit are available on the closet sale. This dress, I love. I've worn this dress, I think only twice. This is a really great dress, a really great quality dress. It's by the brand Lafayette 148. And it's just gorgeous. It's half black and half blue. It's blue, navy blue on top and then black on the bottom. It's a really nice cut. The material has a bit of a stretch to it and it really moves well with the body. It's a really classic cut. I wore this into the office when I did wear it and it's just gorgeous. You can wear it just like I'm showing you here um, with a bare arm and bare legs and a pump. But what I also did when I wore it in the cooler months, I wore it with a bodysuit underneath that had like a sheer billowy black sleeve and a mock neck. And then I wore it with tights and some booties. That was really cute as well. So you can wear that dress now if you get it in the warmer, you know, like in the summertime, or you can wear it in the wintertime. So this is something, this is a year round dress, to be honest with you guys. It just depends on how you style it up. And then I threw it on with a pair of navy blue pumps. These are by Vince Camuto. And these are a really great pair of classic pumps if you're looking for something like this. And it can be very difficult to find a good pair of navy blue pumps. So if you're in the market for that, these are gonna be good for you. This is great. The heel height is not too high, but it's high enough that you feel that elevation and you, you know, you it's doing what it needs to do. You know what I mean? Like it's a really nice, sturdy, well-built pump. And then the bag that I'm wearing is this was one of my favorite handbags, you guys. Like I loved this bag. This is when I was into larger bags. I wore this to work often. I even wore it casually quite a few times. This came from TJ Maxx. And this was when I thought TJ Maxx was doing those really great like handbags from Italy. They came from Spain. They had really nice like buttery leathers. I haven't been in in a while, so I don't know if they have these now, but I've gotten quite a few at really great prices from TJ Maxx. And this is one of them. Absolutely love this. And I also regretted that I didn't get it in black because they had this same bag in black with like red suede interior and I loved it. But this one has a tassel, it has feet on the bottom. It's a really great size. You can carry any, you know, any everyday essentials in there. And then you can also carry papers, files or whatever. It's a really great work tote. I love this. And the color is really great as well. A nice gray bag is honestly a really great neutral if you're looking for something different than a black or a brown bag. A gray bag will take you far. And I'm actually missing something like that in my collection. Since I'm letting this one go, I'm looking to also fill that with maybe something just slightly smaller because I don't need I don't need anything this large anymore. So when I find something that's just the perfect fit, I know it's gonna work for me, but I do love a gray bag. I think that it is very necessary in any handbag collection. Now here's the next look I wanna show you guys. And I know so many of you will remember this dress because a lot of you wanted to get your hands on it and it just sold out so quickly. So 
here's your chance. This dress is available on the closet sale, the entire look as well here. Now, this dress came from Saks or Fifth. It's a gorgeous dress. The, the pattern is great. The material is really lightweight, but I just haven't reached for it, and I really don't know why. I guess the occasion that I had in mind to wear this just never happened, and I am not one to save things for special occasions. You guys know that, but the any occasion to wear this dress just didn't present itself for me. So it just didn't work out for me, and I think it will still work out for someone, one of you. So check it out if you're interested. It's a really great dress. It has a nice lining, a green lining, the same color, um, pattern going on with the dress it's a really nice pattern the shade of green that it is is really great it's green with like black going through it so you can wear it with black pumps you can wear it with black booties like I'm showing you guys here and you can even style it up with some tights and boots when it gets a little bit cooler if you want to make this dress take you through into the cooler months you can do that as well and for shoes I went with these black shoes I've had these for a while and I've these are very comfortable. I've gotten some good wear out of these. They go with so many things. So I was reaching for these a lot. And what I love about these is that the heel height is a nice, substantial heel height, but it's not too high. And it is a stacked heel, so it's very comfortable. So you can wear these all day and be good if you're doing a lot of walking. I love that they have a peep toe. And then the back, the heel is out as well. So this is a great shoe for, you know, the summer months. And then for a little bit into the cooler months, because even in the fall, I would wear these, you know, depending where you live, of course. But a really great shoe if you're looking for something comfortable and really attractive because I would get a lot of compliments on these shoes when I wore them and I love the fact that they have like a little bit of the fringe in the front overall really nice and it reminds me of like a loafer but it's peep toe and the back is out and it has a really good heel height next up I want to show you guys this denim dress and when I styled it up I was like hold on maybe I should keep this one <laughs> but I need to let it go because I haven't worn it and that is a problem I always have when I'm like trying to close deciding when I'm going to get rid of something I'm like no I'm going to keep this I think I'm going to wear it oh no I'm going to keep this I think this is going to work eventually but I cannot do that anymore so anyway this denim dress is really great and of course I'm showing you guys how to style it for right now but you can take this with you into the cooler months I try to get pieces that I can wear um through multiple seasons because you can get a lot of wear out of it and of course you want to get the most out of your wardrobe so this denim dress is gorgeous and I'm styling it here with those same black shoes that I showed you from the last outfit so you can transition this because obviously this look is a little bit more casual than the last look so just I just wanted to show you guys how you can wear those black shoes casually and a little bit more dressed up and then for a bag I went with this Vince Camuto bucket bag this bag is great. I got some good run out of this bag, but it still looks so new. So I guess I didn't wear it as much as I thought I was. And I love it because it's black, but it also has the snake tone going around the bottom of it, a little bit of black and white, and it has gold hardware, a really great bag. And bucket bags, you know, you can just like throw things in there. They're very casual and comfortable, but it's a really nice quality bag. Here's the next look I have for you guys. And this entire outfit is available on the closet sale. Starting with this top, this is a mock neck sleeveless, thin knit that you can wear under things is great for layering I got this from Target and then the joggers that I'm wearing are from Zara these are really great joggers if you guys are looking for something that's a really great quality jogger these are it they're faux leather which is amazing because they look like real leather it feels really soft and buttery it doesn't have that plasticky feeling so if you're looking for something like this this is perfect it has pockets a drawstring very comfortable as well and then for shoes, I'm wearing a pair of sneakers. These are from Nasty Gal, a really nice, basic pair of white sneakers. I mean, honestly, you can just throw it on with anything. But I want to show you guys this here because this is a very elevated, athleisure type look. And I love those kinds of outfits. So I thought this was a good pairing. And then I threw on this cardigan. I got it from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I cannot remember which one. But at the time, I was buying cardigans like crazy. And they had so many of these like really plush like chunky knits and they just feel so good this one you can cuff the sleeves it has like a pattern on the inside of it which I think is just because of the stitching so when you fold it it looks like a really nice pattern it's cozy comfortable you can wear this as a rope inside or you can wear it as a layering piece it's really warm so if you live somewhere that's not freezing you can wear this kind of like a coat I love cardi coats like cardigan style coats and this could be one of them you could belt it if you wanted to do that and wear it as an actual coat or just you know a cardigan in a belt it looks really good if you want to cinch in the waist there it has pockets just overall a really plush like elevated cardigan and then for my bag i just threw on this vince kimono bag that i showed you guys in the last outfit very comfortable overall just a very chic like comfy outfit and you can also do something like this if you're traveling you can throw this on and then maybe carry a tote or something like that but I love this, a really like chic look. Now here's the last look I wanna show you guys. And I kept on the same Zara joggers and then I threw on this off the shoulder top from Ann Taylor. 
I love an off the shoulder top. You guys already know that. So no surprise here. But this one is great because you can wear it on the shoulder or off the shoulder. What I like about it is that um, the sleeves are slightly billowy, not too much. So you can wear this into the office if you wanted to with a pair of slacks and the volume is not too exaggerated. But I do love that you can also push up the sleeves. It has like a slinky kind of a feeling to it. So it has some stretch and some give. Very comfortable and it feels cool against the skin. And then I just did like sort of a half tuck with that into the joggers. And then on my feet, I'm wearing Tory Burch Miller Slides. These are in gold. These are also available on the closet sale. The entire look I'm showing you guys is available on the closet sale. And then for a bag, I went with this gold clutch and it is giving kind of a Bottega vibe. This clutch was one of my absolute favorites. And honestly, I completely forgot about it until I started like cleaning out the closet and I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, what happened to this? I just had too many things where I couldn't see anything. You guys already know that. That's why I'm like going through this whole closet transformation. But I do love this bag. Now it is showing some signs of wear, like in the corners, you know, just from opening and closing the bag on a regular basis. It's showing some corner wear. But because it's kind of an antique gold, like a crackled gold, it honestly lends to that. It looks like a distressed kind of like crackled um, finish on the bag, which looks beautiful. So I just wanted to make note of that just in case that's not your vibe or maybe it is. I want you guys to know about that. But a really great bag overall. And a clutch is so on trend right now. You just pop that baby underneath your arm and you look so chic carrying it around. Very comfortable overall, a very easy outfit. You know what I mean? Like the pieces are all very simple, but when you put them all together, it gives you a high impact, really chic outfit. So that is it, you guys. Those are some looks I put together from the closet sale. If you guys are interested in shopping, be sure to check the description box. I have a link straight to the closet sale and you guys can shop all the pieces and check out and browse around all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. I will have the links to everywhere you guys can find me on all the platforms, Instagram, Pinterest, everything. So be sure to check the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.